and welcome back to my channel. Let's just hoist the ladies back up. Do that again, shall we? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know, my name is Beth and I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. If you haven't already, subscribe down below to become a part of our little family that we have going on here. This is ridiculous that I'm even making this video, but I went to Cotton On and I bought a crap load of activewear and I wanted to show you guys all of it because honestly I'm so impressed with their activewear. I feel like back in the day it used to be like, oh, wear the leggings three or four times, they get a bit see-through. Oh, we've only got black and maybe like a dark grey. Now, there is so many different options to pick from. I wore a pair of leggings to the gym last night and my mum literally thought they were Lululemons. <clears throat> Let's just jump straight into it because I'm just so excited about all of this. So, I actually went in store with Noah and we picked out a crap load, more than I needed worth, of ac active wear from Cotton On. So... Let's have a quick squeeze as to what I got. Okay, let's start off with the boring stuff. Three pairs of these no these no show socks, which you know, pretty basic, but you need them because I find that gym socks get the smelliest the quickest. No matter how many times you wash them, they still get really smelly. So I got two black and one pair of white, and they were three for ten. When I was in Melbourne, I bought a pair of black bike shorts just to see if I was a bike short kind of person. And I decided that I was. I wore them to the gym. They didn't ride up. Um, I felt comfortable. I really actually liked wearing them. So I went and bought myself a pair of khaki. Khaki, maybe? You know, this kind of colour. Bike shorts. Now these ones were $25 for these. They have little pockets down the side, they show off your booty, they're really high rise, and I really love them. These are the pair that I wore last night that my mum thought were Lululemons. So, they're just this gorgeous black and white, kind of, kind of a cow print, but kind of not pattern. They have black mesh down the side that turns right into the calf. They have pockets, they're extremely high waisted, they actually go up to around my bra, which is amazing for... Hit workouts and things where you don't want your pants to fall down, but they slowly do, and you don't have to worry about pulling them up as much. I got these in a size large, but I definitely could have got a medium. I found last night at the gym that they were falling down quite a lot. So these ones were $40. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you probably know that I used to have an obsession with the light blue kind of... I don't think I even have anything anymore that colour. Oh, here you go. I used to be obsessed with this kind of colour. Recently, I have turned more into neutrals, like blacks and greys and whites. And that's the majority of the things that I wear these days. But I could not pass up getting the exact same pair of leggings in blue. I chopped and changed between these and the black. And I actually had the black in my basket ready to go. And then as we were walking out, I kind of picked this pair up as well. So these were also $40. They're not see-through, they're beautiful material, they're really lovely. I'm trying to justify two pairs of $40 leggings to you. Who doesn't love a basic pair of black leggings that are not see-through? So I got these. The only thing that I have an issue with is that the seams are like straight down the leg. So I don't know if you can tell. The seams are straight down the knee and I don't really love that kind of look, but they're comfy leggings and they work well. And they have, hard to explain the texture, they're kind of like the normal legging material down the legs, but then up around the top, around your waist, is kind of like wetsuit material. So I think they're meant to be like, um, I've taken the tag off, but I think they're meant to be like compression up the top. I actually really like them. Again, they have pockets. I think it's great that most leggings are coming out with pockets now because you can pop your phone in there and it's just so easy at the gym. I am pretty sure these were $40 as well. That is all for the pants. Now I just have a few tops. So I dream for the day that I can wear high-waisted leggings and one of those like crop top but not quite like kind of meets where the legging is just little spaghetti strap kind of top <sighs> but unfortunately I do not have the self-confidence to do that as of yet so I settle for things that have an open back like I just I like my back there's no I don't have any fat rolls anymore I don't have so I'm really proud I'm just really proud of my back 
So I like to show it off in tops because that's where I have the most confidence. I don't like having my boobs out of the gym because I feel like they fly up and they just... So the back, that's what I was saying. Okay, so I got two, I got a long sleeve black top because I feel like this is kind of like just going for a walk or like doing some yoga or stretching or whatever. And I suppose as well on a colder day you could do the, wear this for like a weight session. But it has a cutout at the back and ties up down the very bottom with a bow. So this one was... This was $30 and I got this in a size medium and it's still quite baggy. I feel like it finishes quite nicely where your bum starts so it kind of really gives you that, you know. Then I got a black tank top. So my favourite kind of tank tops at the gym are the actual thick strapped tank tops. But this one, again, has a strap at the top of the back and then it's open, open, open and a little twist down the bottom. I wore that one last night at the gym. It does rise up, but when, you, like, when you're moving around and jumping and going up and down doing burpees and things. But if you wear your high-waisted leggings, then you should be fine. The tank top was $25. Okay, and the lucky last thing that I got that was such an impulse buy. Oh, it's got a stain on it. This white long sleeve top. It's got a different kind of material under the arms and it's just a long sleeve baggy top that I thought would look really lovely with just black tights and some white shoes or white Nikes, black Nikes, just cute. Not necessarily to work out at the gym in. I did, I did wear it to the gym the other night and I found that I did get a little bit hot. It's probably perfect for weight training and things but for cardio I found it too much. Yeah, I didn't necessarily buy this to wear to the gym. I just thought it would be like a comfy active wear outfit kind of thing that makes sense. And I did get this one in an extra large and it was $25. I only got it in the extra large because that's literally all I had and I was desperate for a white top. But I do like how baggy it is. I think it's meant to be more of a slim fitting top, but I do like that it is quite big on me. Okie dokie. So in total, I spent $237 on active wear. I did promise Noah that I was going to go and clean out my active wear collection. <sighs> if you guys do want to see a full try on and haul of all my active wear that I have before I'm forced to throw it all out, please let me let, let me know down below. And if you guys have any other suggestions for places that I can get like low priced but still good quality active wear, please let me know because I've been shopping at Cotton On for the last six years and as, as much as I love Cotton On, I'm always up to try new things. So... With all that being said, have a great day, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time with another video.